All right, so now we're going to be adding and subtracting polynomials. Um, I have binomials in the first uh, examples up here. So when we're adding polynomials, um, I'm going to show you a more difficult way, then I'll show you an easier way. For adding polynomials, technically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping our parentheses in the first po uh, polynomial here, and then distributing this positive 1 into the second polynomial. Well, distributing a positive 1 into anything just is essentially dropping the parentheses in the second polynomial um, and rewriting it. So we have something like this. So I have, now I can combine like terms. So I have a 1x plus a 2x, which is a 3x. And then I have a 3 plus a 5, which is a plus 8. Now, Essentially, all we did when we added these two polynomials together, here's an easier way to do it. All you have to do is combine like terms from the very beginning. So a 1x plus a 2x gives you that 3x, and a plus 3 plus a 5 gives you a plus 8. Um, so with adding polynomials, you don't necessarily have to distribute the plus 1 in. You can just go ahead and drop your parentheses, combine like terms to get your final answer. Subtracting polynomials, however, we do have to use the distributive property here. So this is essentially a minus 1 on the outside of that uh, parentheses of the 2x plus 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop our parentheses on, parentheses on the first one, and then now I'm going to distribute the negative 1 into the second one. A negative 1 times a 2x is a minus 2x, and a negative 1 times a plus 5 is a minus 5. Essentially, what we're doing here is we are subtracting this whole polynomial from the first polynomial. So if we subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial, we need to change all of the signs within that uh, second set of parentheses here. We want to subtract both terms in that second set of parentheses. So now I'm going to combine like terms here. I have a 1x minus a 2x, which is going to give me a negative 1x, or just a negative x, same thing. And then I have a plus 3 minus a 5, which is a minus 2. Now that's fully simplified. So that's what we're going to be doing in all of these. Um, so we're going to simplify each expression, write our simplified expression in standard form. So in number 1, we're adding polynomials, because there's a plus sign in between your two polynomials. So you can go ahead and distribute if you wish, or if we're adding polynomials, we can just jump straight into just combining like terms. So a 15w plus a 17w is going, or plus a 7w, sorry, is going to be a 22w. And a negative 3 plus a negative 9 is a negative 12. That is fully simplified, and that is in standard form. That's it. Same thing with number two. Since we're adding these polynomials together, you can either distribute it in and get practice with the distributive property, but it's just going to be the same exact expression, only without parentheses. So what you could do is you could just jump into combining like terms. So I have a 1x plus a negative 5x. That's going to be a negative 4x. And then I have a positive 4 plus a positive 3, which is going to be a plus 7. That's fully simplified. That's in standard form. That is my polynomial. Now in 3 and 4, it's different because this time we're subtracting polynomials. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to distribute the minus 1 or the minus sign into the second set of parentheses because we want to subtract that whole set of parentheses. So in number 3, I'm just going to drop my parentheses in the first half. Now I'm going to start to distribute. A negative times a negative 2x cubed becomes a plus 2x cubed. And a negative times a plus 8x becomes a minus 8x. Now I can go ahead and combine like terms. So I have a 4x cubed plus a 2x cubed. That's going to give me a 6x cubed. 
and then I have a positive 6x minus an 8x, which is a minus 2x. That's fully simplified, that's in standard form. Moving on to number four, same thing, I'm subtracting the two polynomials, so I will need to distribute that minus sign into the second set of parentheses. So I'm just going to rewrite my first set of parentheses. And a minus times a 9m to the fourth power is going to be a minus 9m to the fourth power. And a minus times a minus m squared becomes a plus m squared. And a minus times a minus 5 becomes a plus 5. I'm now going to go ahead and combine like terms. So I have a 2m to the fourth power minus a 9m to the fourth power. That's going to be a negative 7m to the fourth power. I have a negative 3m squared plus a 1m squared. So that's going to be a minus 2m squared. And then I have a plus 1 plus a 5, which is a plus 6. This is fully simplified. It is in standard form. So that is your final answer. All right, 5 and 6 are tricky because I told you that if we're adding two polynomials, we can just combine like terms from the beginning. But this time, we're not just adding two polynomials together because I have a plus 2 on the outside of my second set of parentheses. So I do need to distribute in this one because I that's a plus 2 times the second set of parentheses. So I need to use the distributive property to get that 2 into the second set of parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite my first set of parentheses and dropping my parentheses as I go. Now I'm going to distribute a plus 2 times an x to the fourth powers is going to be a plus 2x to the fourth power. A plus 2 times a plus 13 is going to give me a plus 26. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I only have one set of like terms here. That is the 7x to the fourth power plus the 2x to the fourth power, which gives me a 9x to the fourth power. And then the plus 9x and the plus 26 cannot be combined with anything because there's no like terms with those. This is fully simplified. That is also in standard form. Moving on to the next one, same deal. Even though I'm adding these two polynomials, I can't just combine like terms right away because I do have a plus 3 that needs to be distributed into the second set of parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite my first set. I have a 6x squared y plus a 4xy plus a 3x. And now I'm going to distribute a plus 3 times a 4x squared y is going to be a plus 12x squared y. And a plus 3 times a minus 7x is going to give me a minus 21x. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So the only terms that I can combine here, oh, I have two sets of like terms. I have a 6x squared y plus a 12x squared y. That's going to give me an 18x squared y, and that is the one with the highest degree. The one with the next highest degree is this plus 4xy, which cannot be combined with anything. But then I do have a 3x minus a 21x that can be um, combined together to get a minus 18x. That is now fully simplified. That is in standard form. All right, now the next two, this time um, I'm subtracting polynomials, but I do have a number that also needs to be distributed. I need to distribute the minus 2 into the second set of parentheses. So I have a negative 4v squared minus a 2w to the fourth power. Now I'm going to distribute a negative 2 times a negative 2v squared is going to be a plus 4v squared. And a negative 2 times a plus 5w to the fourth power is a minus 10w to the fourth power. Now I'm going to combine like terms. A negative 4v squared plus a 4v squared gives you a 0v squared. And 0 times anything will just wipe out that entire term. 
So that term just goes away, and now I have a negative 2w to the fourth power minus a 10w to the fourth power, so that's a negative 12w to the fourth power. And that's it for that one. And then moving on to the last problem here, I'm going to be distributing the negative x squared into the second set of parentheses here. So I'm just going to rewrite my first set of parentheses in x squared plus a 5x minus a 9. Now I'm going to distribute. A negative x squared times a 4x will be a minus 4x cubed because remember we add our exponents of our variables. And then negative x squared times a minus 3 will be a plus 3x squared. Now I'm going to combine like terms and write things in standard form. Well, my uh, first term is going to be the negative 4x cubed. That cannot be combined with anything, but that does have the highest degree. Now I'm going to start to combine some things. A 1x squared plus a 3x squared is a plus 4x squared. And then I have a plus 5x minus a 9. That cannot be combined with anything. So this is fully simplified. It's in standard form. That is your answer.